So your blue USB cable plugs into there. And your power supply cable you plug in to there. And then you also have an SD slot there. Um, so your blue cable connects to your PC. So your USB PC. And obviously the power cable you plug into the power. So your power switch or your on off switch is this little red button here. Um, so once you switch it on and get plugged into the power, that's what will happen, it'll switch on. And I've also plugged it into my the USB cable I've plugged into the PC. To put into your computer, um, it has the drivers on for the laser engraver to work. Um, and I'll show you how to install them. It's pretty simple. Like I said, of the bag, you get the card. So, you need to take the SD card out. And it goes into the top of there. It can only go in one way. And then this will go into your computer's USB. So, take the top off. And then put it into your USB. Well, this is just to show you how to um, install your driver uh, to connect it um, to your laser and uh, using either light burn or laser uh, G laser GBRL. Um, so if you put your SD card in your USB drive, which comes with the laser, um, it comes up with this TTS Pro, which is a zip file. Um, if you unzip it, double click unzip it, what you'll find inside will be all these. Um, your product manual port driver laser GBRL. Laser GBRL is free, um, you don't have to pay for it. Uh, light burn, you have 30 days free and then you have to pay for it after. I prefer light burn, um, it just seems to be a much better program. Um, you've got your tools, video tutorial, wireless connection, firmware, light burn. All I did. Um, was I just installed the port driver so if, obviously if you're using Windows um, you just double click on this um, and this is your driver you need to install on the computer um, for your laser to work so once you've installed that you can go back and you can either um, install from here um, or you can go to their website and install or if you go to Lightburn you can install it from here or you can go to the actual uh, website I did it from the website because it was just I just found it a lot easier so once you've done all that and you've installed Lightburn all you then have to do I mean oh, mine's already installed because I have installed already um, if you go up here to the settings um, make sure you've changed this yeah, this is units and grids, so better for CO2 galvo lasers, or better for diode. Obviously, you've got a diode laser, so you need to click it on millimeters per minute. And once you so once you've installed your driver, um, you need to select your COM port down here, otherwise it won't be able to connect. So um, if I take it off, if it's not the right COM port selected down here, you'll get waiting for connection. Um, so you need to change the COM port once it's connected it'll come up with this um, also when you're setting it up um, it'll automatically ask you if you want to detect the laser so make sure your laser is switched on it's a GRBL laser so um, just select that and uh, it'll it'll carry on installing um, it'll ask also ask you for your work area size um, the TT 5.5 Pro, TTS 5.5 Pro, is 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters, um, a standard. So I, that's what I've selected. I've selected slightly under, um, and this little green thing down here, that's your actual laser head position um, when you first switch up the, the um, laser on. So when you do all this, make sure your laser switched on as well. Um, 
so it's pretty simple to set up it didn't take me very long um, hopefully it helped you out um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe